OK, so let's say we've got three points, A, B and C, and they've been given by these coordinates. Find, first of all, the coordinates of D such that AD equals two lots of AB. So I need to find AB. So the vector AB is OB minus OA. OK, so we're going to have the position vector of B take away the position vector of A. Now, remember, these are the coordinates, but the position vector of B will be 8 minus 1 minus 1. The position vector of A will be 3, 2, minus, 3, 2, 1. So we're going to have 8 take away 3, so that would be 5. Minus 1 take away 2, so minus 3. Minus 1 take away 1 is minus 2. So that's the vector AB. So AD will be two lots of AB. And so AD will have the vector 10 minus 6 minus 4. So if I want the coordinates of D, then OD, the position vector of D, will be OA plus AD. So that will tell me how to get from the origin to D by going from the origin to A and then from A to D. So the position vector of A is 3, 2, 1. And I'm adding on the position vector, oh sorry, the vector AD, which is 10 minus 6 minus 4. So we're going to have 13 uh, minus 4 and minus 3. So D must have the coordinates 13, minus 4, minus 3. OK. Now, we're also told the coordinates of E, uh, to find the coordinates of E, such that AE is two lots of AC. OK, so uh, AC is OC minus OA. So OC minus OA, so 4 take away 3 is 1, minus 7 take away 2 is minus 9, 2 take away 1 is 1. So there's AC. AE is 2 lots of uh, AC. So that will be the vector 2 minus 18, 2, doubling each of those elements. So the coordinates of E... So I could find the position vector of E. So that would be um, OA plus AE. So the position vector of A is 3, 2, 1. AE is 2 minus 18, 2. So OE will have position vector 5. Um, minus 16, 3. OK, so E will have coordinates 5, minus 16, 3. Now C will ask for the ratio of DE to BC. OK, so DE, I need to find uh, the length of, or the distance between those two points. OK, so DE uh, is equal to, so I could find the vector DE and find its length. OK, um, so that might be the easiest way to write it down. Sorry, so find the vector DE first, then find its length. So that will be E minus D. So 5 take away 13 uh, is minus 8. So let's write it down as minus 8. Um, minus 16 take away minus 4 is minus 12. And 3 take away minus 3 is 6. So the length of DE is equal to... So we'll have 8 squared plus 12 squared, plus 6 squared, which is 244 square rooted. So that's 2 
root 61. So that's DE. And then I also need BC. So BC as a vector is C minus B. So 4 take away 8, minus 7 take away minus 1, and 2 take away minus 1. The length of BC is equal to 4 squared plus 6 squared plus 3 squared square rooted. So the square root is 61. So the ratio of DE to BC is 2 root 61 to root 61. And so dividing both sides by root 61 simplified is 2 to 1. Okay? So that's how we can solve a problem like this in three dimensions.